Hi, this is Vishal. I go by Wish Blurrer and I changed my name to Wish Blurrer Helium Hiker. So everyone knows that I am uh, the one who built that site. Uh, but yeah, I, I came a couple of times last month and kind of showed what I was doing with my site. And uh, I just made a bunch of updates that I probably think would be helpful. Again, those are like minor things that I really wanted to update to my site, but I'll quickly jump in and show uh, what, I've been, uh, what I have updated. Okay, cool. So yeah, I'm, I'm just quickly taking example to save some time, but uh, my favorite example, again, I say felt moth, right? Uh, if you're not familiar with the site, you can go and uh, enter your hotspot name and uh, you, you can get earnings for a lifetime or earnings for a particular dates. Uh, you can put in start date and not put in end date and it will take default. Uh, but one of the thing I had was, again, this hasn't changed. Uh, you can still see browse by the city all the hotspot that you have in your wallet uh, but just made some minor changes to show that hey this is a link where you can click on the show account rewards and this is where exactly where i made some changes where earlier it was like not taking advantage of the real estate i had so now i just uh, created something where uh, there will be a lot of information fitting into one page it's just browsing through a lot, but uh, earlier it was just like a whole screen taking this one hotspot. Now I made a change where uh, multiple hotspot, like four per line will fit in and it will provide the HNT rewards for particular hotspot in those cities. And again, just trying to fit in more information and it will also provide the date range uh, for the time period you're looking at. Uh, so yeah, I mean, that's just one minor update that I made to the account page. I believe it helps many people. I, I get at least one of the person I'm working with, he was like, this is helpful because whenever he needs to pay his host, he can come here, look at the uh, data quickly for like on a weekly basis and uh, calculate and provide the earnings based on that. So that's the one quick update to the account page. And the other one is related to the challenge analysis where uh, when I came last time and presented, right, there were a couple of very good feedback about R the SNR and RSSI like short on it because the larger number was not helpful. So I made that update, but also uh, we know that challenges were failing, but at that time we did not have a reason why it was failing. So uh, helium, ETL now has that data available. So I have been, uh, I was able to add that data to the dashboard. It's, it, it, it will be available in the, uh, the analysis section or the details section. So for example, this 17 challenge looks failure and uh, this will, sorry, let me just. So it will give a reason of why the challenge was a failure. So in this case, it says witness to close and looks like maybe it's just one of the hotspots which has been failing challenge. But yeah, I mean, this, I would think that it's one step ahead or one step forward to where we were uh, in terms of last time where it was providing the analysis, what's been going on with my hotspot. And now it will at least also tell us uh, why that challenge has been failing. So that if there are any adjustments that need to be made, can be made. I believe there are a couple of other reasons as well. Uh, this is just one that I pulled up. No, yeah, I was kind of waiting on this to be available. And uh, I know that in API it was available, but uh, I just looked at it and it felt, yep, yeah, this is good. It's good to add. Are there any questions here? This, this is live, right? Uh, at this point? That is, that is no? correct, okay. yes. Thank you. Looks, looks really good. Yeah, thank you. I was, I was uh, Mr. Patel, I have a question also. Yes, sir, go ahead. Is, uh, is it, I'm, I'm new at the Helium and um, do I just go onto your site and log in and set up an account or how do I get involved? Yeah, so as of now, I do not have the functionality for accounts or tracking any hotspots. So you can just directly go on a site. I, I'll chat, uh, paste in the link here, but uh, heliumhiker, heliohost.us. 
uh, it will also be available on the discord channel but uh, yeah it, it's it's open it's it's going against the helium blockchain api for the reward report and for the challenge analysis, it's looking at the Helium ETL data that is available in the DeFi instance. Uh, but yeah, there is no login. You can just enter your hotspot name and click on the challenge analysis and it will take you to the, the challenge analysis dashboard. So this will help us see if, Thank if you. the hotspot is also working and what it's doing a little bit more. I, exactly. So uh, it, it will help you with understanding how your hotspot has been uh, pr working in terms of transmitting the challenges as well as witnessing the challenges, right? Because in terms of HIF 15 and 17, that made more focus on uh, witnessing the challenges along with the, uh, the beaconing the challenges or transmitting the beacon challenges, right? So this just helps you in terms of looking at the data summarized to see uh, how many challenges my hot, hotspot has been transmitting and out of those, am I getting witnesses, no witnesses, invalid witnesses? So in, again, in this case, if you look at this example, uh, I see felt moth, uh, it, it just shows, the first section just shows the number of challenges that your hotspot has beacon. Uh, and if there are invalid witnesses, it will show up here. Valid witnesses are showing up here. Uh, but I think this one has one invalid witness, the funny blue cobra one. So th this is the one where other hotspot did a challenge or transmitted a challenge and this hotspot witnessed it and your hotspot was marked as invalid witness for one of those challenges. And uh, you can look at the why it should be in the reason. So in this case, it says witness RSSI too high. This is very cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I still have a lot to learn in terms of the reasons, but th this is just something I added last, maybe like a couple hours ago. And I was like, let me just come over here and present it. But yeah, I'll, I'll be uh, doing more analysis on different reasons and what's been happening. Awesome. And if anyone hasn't checked out um, the other videos uh, from Happy Hour that Michelle has put up, uh, please hit them up onto the, the Happy Hour playlist and catch up on this work. And he gives a much more in-depth explanation of the different segments of Helium Hiker. If you have any questions, there's now a Helium Hiker Discord channel um, on the Helium, you know, over on Discord. And, uh, you know, if you have a question, throw it in there. And, you know, hopefully he has the time to, you know, stop, you know, this this coding madness and um, answer a couple questions over there. Now, this, <laughs> this is great, dude. I love this. No, I'm happy to answer any questions. So yeah, please, uh, if you have any feedback or question, uh, feel free to ping me on that Helium Hiker channel over there. And thank you, Travis, for creating that for me. Of course.